Hi y'all, I'm Rena, and I'm going to discuss female sexuality in the Chinese society. How do women in Chinese society express their sexuality? When learning about female sexuality, I read about Bao Zhao and how she raised her daughters Bao Zhao raised her daughters in a very unique way. She had lots of activities that she wanted her daughters to engage in as a woman preparing for marriage. She would lay a child below the bed, which to me seemed dangerous and a bad idea for both me and the child. She would also allow a child to play with broken pottery, which is also extremely dangerous. They could badly cut themselves. She also believes in sharing the information of having children with her ancestors. Bao Zhao also has a firm belief that a woman's duty is to serve her husband. After doing further research, I was able to learn more about this, and I believe that I am my own person and I am just as important as any man is. I also do not believe in living a life of purity, which is another of Zhao's beliefs. A woman should be able to engage in sexual intercourse whenever and with whomever, whomever they would like until they are married. Her shatter and prostitution. Another thing I learned about that I decided to dig a little deeper into is her shatter and her attempting to explain to the reader how prostitution is seen in different areas of the world. In early Shanghai, it was seen as a profession of unscrupulous and greedy schemers, but in North America, it is seen simply as sex work. In Shanghai at this point in time, prostitution is fairly common and you were just as likely to see a woman working in a brothel as you were likely to see a woman working in a factory. Research. For my research, I will use readings from the course as well as outside sources found in the Kennesaw State University library systems, and also non-academic sources such as sources found from Google searches. Sexuality in, in China, Histories of Power and Pleasure, an academic book written by Howard Chiang, is one of the sources I will be using in my research project that was found in the Kennesaw libraries. It delves into the sex lives of people in Imperial China through the post-Mao era. After some Google searching, I also found another article that seems to have helpful and significant information for my research project. Sexuality in China, a review and new findings by Jia Yu, Weixang Lu, and Yu Zi attempts to discuss the social context of sexuality in China. These articles both delve into sexuality in China and why people behave the way they do. The end.